Welcome to my prophetic word today. I can't wait to share it with you. This is a word that's been burning in my heart now for probably like, I don't know, a little while. But God's just been stirring up this word in me about the anointing oil and a season of commissioning for the body of Christ for harvest. So I hope this word really encourages you. I hope it in, I hope it does something. I feel like today there is going to be, I really want to pray for commissioning. I want to pray that there'd be a, that you'd feel an activation and a commissioning of what God's placed inside of you. I, I don't just want to release a word and that's it. I feel like today there's something that God wants to do inside of you to stir up what is inside you. So hope you can, hope you can handle the intent intensity of what's going to be released today. So I'm excited. Jackie, good to see you. Um, uh, by the way, Awakening Australia, oh my goodness, last night was incredible at Glory City Church. It was just such an amazing time. There's like repentance just filled that place. It was incredible. People were just, just getting stirred up to run after what God's put inside them. Good to see you, Brad, Kathy, other people, and also the people joining me from YouTube. It's uh, good to see you guys as well. I've got two going on at the same time, and I thought I would bring you into my backyard. So as you can see, it's only a little backyard, but there is an awesome field behind it that is just like, I don't know, it's just a beautiful sanctuary, good place to pray. And so I thought I'd bring you out here for a change today so you can kind of see where we live and everything like that. But this word has just been burning and I want to share how it happened. I was on the way to a dentist the other day, had to get some pretty serious dental work done uh, last week. And so I had to come back for a second visit. And it was uh, Tuesday morning, really early in the morning. I'm driving to the Gold Coast to, to my amazing Christian dentist, Awana. And uh, on the way there, Holy Ghost just invades my car and I'm just feeling his presence uh, overtaking me. It was just so powerful. And then he began speaking to me. And so I, it, it, was, it was so good. I'm like, I, I can't miss this. I don't want to break the law. So I'm going to pull over and write down what he's telling me, right? And so I pull over the side of the road and I begin to write down. And the Holy Spirit said this to me. He said, many have been in a, in a season of crushing and oppressing that they didn't know if they would recover and make it out the other side. The enemy has been surrounding them and pressing them so deeply that many begin to fall asleep from the pain or to hide from it. They felt like all dreaming, hope, joy, and vision was squeezed from them. But what they didn't know was that it was producing an oil that is now flowing from their lives. And I was just like, okay, God, and I begin to see this vision. And over the next little while, and even the rest of the day, as I began to really process this word of the Holy Spirit, but firstly, what I saw was these two different stories from the Bible kind of come to life in, in my spirit. And uh, the first one was Jesus when he's in the Garden of Gethsemane. And when Jesus is in the Garden of Gethsemane, uh, you know, the, the night before he was arrested, there was a pressing, there was a crushing that took place in because there, he was so just in that place of agony of God, take this father, take this cup from me. You know, that was the place he was at. And the disciples, they're falling asleep. Because sometimes when you're in a season of pressing and crushing, the first thing you want to do, you just want to fall asleep. You're like, I just want to survive this season. And many people have just been like that. Like, I just want to get through this season. That's all I want to do. I just, I just want to survive it. If, as long as I can get through it, I'll be okay. But here's Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. And Gethsemane actually means, it means place of, it means oil press, a place of pressing. And uh, here's Jesus in this place. And he's just saying, Father, this is, is is this too much for me to bear? Like this is, this is a huge thing to bear. And yet he was like, okay, God, not my will, but yours be done. And we know that story there. But I know that God was, was speaking to me through that. And he was saying that many people have been in that pressing. They've been in that crushing. They've been in that intense season that it's felt like that I've been in, I've been in, the, in, in, in midnight now for, for many months. I've been in, I mean, in a midnight season for such a time. And I just feel like that God was saying that you, this is what he, he said to me. You don't even realize the oil you're now carrying. You do not even realize the oil that you're now carrying. Because I'll tell you something, the anointing costs. But when it comes, the, the, the anointing comes and it breaks every yoke of bondage. And you've been in that pressing season, but that anointing oil that results from it is going to break other people free. So it's not just about you. Because when you go through that intense season of pressing and crushing, on the other side of it is not just your breakthrough, but it's breakthrough for so many other people that they're then going to be set free from the, because of what you release and your faithfulness to say, God, I, I don't know. I don't, this is too much for me. I feel like I've been so just absolutely absolutely defeated in this but on the other side you don't even know what you carry so i want to kind of share a few things that god has been showing me about this anointing oil about the season of the oil that is flowing over people and i the word that kind of came to me he said to me these are my deliverers these are my oil carriers that's what he said to me because when you when you get on the other side of that stuff you carry an oil and i feel like many people say you don't even realize the oil you carry from your seasons of of warfare and the stuff you know some of the times some of the warfare christian have gone through we know kids being sick and all these different things it, it, it doesn't 
doesn't matter if it's like a financial thing that's gone on in your life. It could be that people are speaking about you. You're being outcasted. Whatever it is, you go, you walk through that and you say, God, I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm in this place of a wreck. God's like, hang on, because there is something. You're, gonna, you're not going to get out the other side without the spoils of war. They're going to come with it. And the spoils of war is that the anointing is increasing upon your life. Because this, I'll quickly just give it kind of prophecy teaching thing. See, you can be gifted. You can be called, but the anointing only comes through the crushing and the pressing. It doesn't come through any other way. All the, all the junk of life that comes against you, that is where the anointing comes upon you. And when the anointing comes upon you, you've been activated for service. And I want to pray over you today as well, because I feel like that the pressing and the crushing, you've only seen it as a dead end, but it's actually the beginning of a new assignment. We've stepped into a new, uh, a new era in the body of Christ. And what that means is that your pressing and crushing is actually the finalization of a past season. So you can step into a new assignment. You know, David, when he was anointed with oil, he'd been living in the wilderness for such a long period of time, right? And he'd been in that place and that's what his life was. He was like, you know, the least picked guy out of his whole family, yet Samuel, yet God saw what was upon his life and called him out. And when he was anointed with oil, he became, he then it changed the trajectory of his life that he was then in, in place to be the king, the next king. And I believe many people, you don't even realize what God's doing right now. I just feel the Father this heart right now for many people all you're seeing is the pressing and the crushing all you're seeing is wow that, that this i don't know how i'm surviving i don't know how i've gone through this season but you don't recognize the oil and i, I feel like that and i wanted to say this at the end but I, I just feel like god's saying like test out the oil begin to release what's upon your life begin to release that you don't even realize that it's so intense you know sometimes it could be that you you, you you're going through the wilderness season for so long and then you're like oh, i just got to get my eyes off me for a minute you pray for somebody and they get healed instantly or somebody gets completely set free of some kind of depression and anxiety like what was whoa what was that that's never happened to me before the oil is working the oil is working in your life the crushing the pressing you've been through is converted into anointing and God's like yeah this is something fresh and new I'm doing over your life you don't uh, this is the way I've done it the enemy can attack you all he wants but I'm I tell you I tell you something I'm not gonna let you come out the other side with nothing I'm gonna get you out the other side and you're gonna be covered and lathered in the oil that's going to set people free you know when Christy went through the depression, I, I, I seen it with my own eyes. I seen it with my own eyes. I was like, that was the, the toughest year of our marriage and our life so far. Like, it was just one of those seasons where I was like, are we going to survive our marriage? Are we going to survive, you know, we got, we got two kids now. And I, what, what, what are we going to do? Like, work life? Am I going to continue being able to work? Like, it was just an intense season and everything was in disarray. But when she got her freedom that night in December... I saw something different upon her. I was like, wow, what is that? And she began writing. She began releasing. She began you know, praying over people. She started seeing people get set free. And I said, wow, that oil is already working. That oil is already working. And sometimes you don't even realize what you carry until you say, God, I'm out the other side of this. I don't know what I carry, but I need to, I need to put this oil to work. Just like Elijah, you know, when he released that mantle upon Elisha, I believe that he grabbed that coat, which was the double portion, but it wasn't activated until he hit it with the water and I believe we're in a season that God is saying you need to grab what you have in this new season and activate it by hitting the water you need to grab what is in you your season of pressing and crushing you need to now direction that towards a problem in the world you need to direction that towards a need and towards a place and you watch what I'm going to do through you many people have been feeling on the sidelines and going God what is even in me anymore I don't even know what's in me and God's like you need to just grab it and, and hit the water with it and then you'll see what it's actually being made for. Many people have been through such a rebranding and redefining in this season. Like, God, I, I don't understand. I can't do the things the way I did in the last season. It feels stale. It feels old. I can't do the old wine thing. I just can't go along with that thing. I can't just do religious service and do these events and just, you know, that's God. Like, no, I can't do that anymore. And God's like, yeah, I've been redefining. I've been rebranding you. So now... On the other side of this, that I've been doing such a work in your heart, hit the water, slap the slap the water with your mantle. That's what he's saying to you. Elisha, grab your coat, slap the water with your mantle. You're going to see what it does. It's something fresh. It's something new. It's not going to be old and outdated. It's going to carry the fresh thing that God's doing through you. Anyway, I'm carrying, getting carried away. I want to share a few things about what God spoke to me about what this oil does, okay? So I want to share this with you real quick. 
So I spoke to you about the oil of the, of the Garden of Gethsemane. And I spoke to you about the redefining. But God spoke to me that it's an oil for burial. This is really cool. I've seen this actually happen quite a few times uh, when I prayed. And um, I was in this service in Hobart um, last year. We're actually about to go back. It's an amazing place. Any, any Hobartians here, here watching, we can't wait to be with you in like six weeks. But when we, there was this one service. It was crazy. I spoke about souls on fire. I had a dream the night before, right? And in the dream, God said to me, I want you to, I want you to um, in this dream, God interrupted my preaching at this conference. And I was watching it happen. And he said, preach about souls on fire. I'm like, what? What is it? I've never, I don't even have that revelation, you know? And uh, anyway, the same thing happened. The next day I'm preaching my session and I, I felt Holy Spirit redirect my word. And I began preaching about souls, about, you know, speaking about, you know, um, that he wants us to prosper even as our soul prospers. And I've been releasing about what Jesus said. He comes to baptize you in the Holy Ghost and fire. As I begin releasing this, oil and gold dust begin peering all over my hands and arms. I'm like, what is going on? So I'm like, okay, let's just, let's just pray for people now, you know. And we're praying for people. Me and, uh, me and Christy and the pastors were praying for people. And people were just getting blasted. And oil was just hitting them. And they were getting, they were getting completely set free. I'm talking deliverance, demonic deliverance. It was, it was crazy. There were healings. One girl got healed of asthma that she'd had this burning, like burning deep in her chest. It was just the oil brought healing. Anyway, God's just speaking to me about the oil just recently. He said, it's the oil for burial. And I said, what, what does that mean? And he said to me, it's, it's the oil for burial, just like Jesus when he was anointed by Mary, right? When he was anointed by Mary in, in Bethany, I think it's in Bethany. It's in uh, John 12, 3, 7, when she took the expensive perfume, she worshiped Jesus, right? That oil, the nard is used for burial. It's, it's an embalming uh, oil and it's so expensive. And God said to me, it's oil for burial. And what that means is that when you, when you release this oil from you, it is the oil to bury the old things in people that have been keeping them in bondage. God's like, no, I don't want them to stay in bondage anymore. The oil that's at work at your life, like I said before, you leave the wilderness, you leave that place, the oil that is coming out of you is going to set people free. It is the oil of burial. It is the oil that is going to bring people out of that old thing. I'm just feeling the presence of God. The, wow, just feeling his fire on me right now. My Father, release it over people right now in Jesus' mighty name. It is the oil for burial. You get to decree and declare over people. That stuff you've been walking through, you've been walking through depression, anxiety, all the fears and the things that have been holding you back. This is the season that stuff gets buried in the dust because Jesus has already taken care of it. But God's saying right now, that's not going to keep you in bondage anymore. But the enemy's been lying to you when he's been trying to keep you under wraps in that place. That stuff is not going to hold you back anymore. I just feel people on here right now that you've been, there's just been such a bombardment of, of insecurity, such a bombardment of just these thoughts of like, my life is going nowhere, fear of the future. I break that off you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. There's an oil for burial that is coming off you. There's an oil for burial. Sure, cut up Because that's what the Lord said to me when I was speaking. He said, this is the oil. That was the oil name that prepared me for burial and it leads to new life so what you're doing you're not only releasing oil for burial you're releasing them into new life it's this two parts this two-part thing you get to see the old thing go and you get to declare over the new it's like wow god and i, I feel like that many people are going to going to step into this new season completely clutter free of everything there's people that have been in in this uh in this place of like their whole lives they've just been bombarded by these cycles of depression anxiety i just feel like cycles are ending cycles are ending cycles are ending god wants to bring homes into health he wants to see your home healthy he wants to see your marriage healthy all those things god's bringing them in right now and people are saying you know i, I barely survived this season i barely survived this season but you don't even know the power you don't even know the power of the oil that you're carrying right now i'm just going to keep on on this for a little bit. I'm going to kind of just keep reading what I believe this oil actually represents. It, believe, it represents the fragrance. It represents the fragrance of Jesus to invade whole areas and regions with his glory. The kingdom being released through you. That everywhere you go, there is a fragrance you carry. And people are like, what is that? And things are going to shift and change. Do you know what I love? I love this the most. I love, I love simply going into a place and sometimes not saying anything. Sometimes it's not even about what you're saying. Sometimes it's just about you carrying what God's put on you. You anointed, just you, Jesus in you, the hope of glory, right? You walk into an atmosphere, into an environment, and things shift. I remember we were in DC last year. It was amazing. This, it was this really cool uh, thing that happened. And, uh, you know, anyone knows Christy. She uh, has so much authority. And um, we were walking uh, at one of the hotels. We had to meet some people. And as we're walking out one of the hotels on this one day in Washington, um, 
these people start fighting, an Uber driver and a taxi driver and one of the, the, the guys at the front that help with the bags and everything, and um, they were all fighting. I'm talking like they're ready to punch on kind of fighting. I'm going, whoa. And I, my, I'm sorry, but my first reaction is, okay, let's walk over this way a little bit, you know what I mean? And Christy's like, hey, no, no, no. And she's just like, like real simple, she's like, right now, stop in the name of Jesus. She spoke it into the atmosphere. Instantly, I watched all these three guys kind of like stop, and in this place of kind of confusion, we're like, uh, what were we arguing about? And then we'll walk all their separate ways. They did not even hear Christy speak, but she released it into the atmosphere. Sometimes your very presence will simply change an atmosphere. Sometimes you walking into a room is what's going to set people free. When you carry the oil, it's not always about what you say. It's what is on you. It is what is covering you. It is what you've been through that has turned into an anointing that breaks every yoke, a bondage everywhere you go. I believe we're in an hour that God is raising the deliverers who've been through hell, who've been through the wilderness, who've been through those places, but they walk out not smelling like smoke, but covered in oil, covered in that anointing oil, ready to take down giants, not afraid anymore. They know who's behind them they've been through so much they're like oh, yeah this is this is a walk in the park i know what's upon my life i know what i carry i've been through this many times before i know what god can do through me i'm just going to step into it confidently it is no longer i lives but christ who lives in me and i believe that's what god's doing right now he's coming upon you powerfully in this season to break those things this is this is an oil of promise of the joy it's an oil of joy that has been released over people to break anguish and the deep brokenness many have endured and it's a sign of a season of laughter and breakthrough for people that's what god's speaking about this oil as well it's an oil of laughter because when you've been in that place jesus actually cried it says that he cried blood and it um look many people argue about that but i'm just going to say he he cried blood okay in the garden, he cried blood. This is going to be a season, not of mourning, but of laughter. Because you've been through the mourning. You've been through the season of the pressing and that crushing. You've been through that hard stuff. Many families are going to be suddenly restored in this season. Many marriages are going to be suddenly restored in this season. Their relationships, you've been feeling like almost like unequally yoked. I didn't feel people on here. God's saying that there's going to be sudden, like a sudden thing that you almost like what happened? We're suddenly on the one page. I just release that over you right now in Jesus' mighty name. Isaiah 61.3 And provide for those who grieve in Zion to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and the garment of praise instead of the spirit of despair. You know, it was amazing. I just want to share quickly about the atmospheres thing. It was amazing that day after I, God gave me this word on the way to the dentist, right? I go to the dentist and, um, you know, in the past I've had a little, bit of, a little bit of fear about the dentist, right? But here I am at the dentist and I'm just, the, the glory hit me so hard in the car. I get to the dentist and I'm just like, woo, I'm just ready for a party, the Holy Ghost. And I, I get into the dentist and um, um, she, ama amazing, uh, amazing dentist, her and her assistant. Assistant and, and, and our other friend who actually works behind the counter, they were like, whoa, the presence of God. And it wasn't me, but it was just God when it, God was just doing something, right? And um, I'm just having an absolute party, getting a root canal done, right? And I, I'm just, whatever, go for it. And they're doing this work in my mouth, and the power of God just fills the, 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 the dental surgery, right? And so the, um, the lady behind the counter keeps walking into the room because she's feeling the power of God. After, I'm just, they're, they're praying over me, prophesying over me as I'm getting my teeth done. It was crazy. The, power, the presence of God was in that place. And I keep seeing the oil. I keep seeing the oil. I just keep seeing the oil. So I'm just like, God, release that healing oil in this room for every person who comes in. Anyway, it was amazing. It was just a breakout time. It was amazing. But I just love that when God confirms what he's speaking, actually in the natural as well. And people are like, well, what's going on? I'm like, man, any unsaved person that comes in this place, let them feel your healing oil. This is crazy. We, after that, they all begin prophesying of each other. I prophesied of them. It was just an amazing time. We're getting blasted. Joy broke out. It was just crazy. It was so good. But I, want to, I just want to declare a few more points of this because I want you to understand the major point of what I believe this oil is released for and the season, the, the kind of season that we're in been in and what God's doing right now. I believe it is an oil of commissioning. Just like I said earlier about David, that was, uh, he was, he was, uh, he was um, anointed with oil by Samuel to be the king. I believe we're in a season of commissioning because you have been through that season of the wilderness and God's saying, this is actually, your rebranding is your anointing. It is your commissioning. This is what it's all about right now. We're in a season of harvest. The body of Christ is in a season of harvest. Have you ever read Christie's word she released this week? Well, um, actually, Elijah Lewis released 
it this week about the three waves of a coming baby boom. You've got to read it about the harvest and about what God's doing right now to bring in the lost and to raise people as harvesters. This is a season that God is truly commissioning people for the harvest. You've been through that stuff. You feel disqualified. You feel like your race is over. God, how can you use me? You're wrong because it's actually your commissioning. This is actually your commissioning right now. You're about to be handed a new assignment. He's about to put a fresh passion in your heart for that nation, for that city, for that cause, for that region, whatever it may be. He's putting something fresh inside of you. I love this phrase by, I think it's Melissa Helser. And it's like, um, just when, when everything looks dead, no, something about winter. You know, when, when in winter, it doesn't mean that everything is dead. And I just felt like it spoke to me about how sometimes when you're looking at everything around you and it's covered in snow and you think everything's dead, God's like, you don't, you don't see the new life that's about to burst forth in the soil underneath. I feel like that's the season we've been in right now. God's doing something fresh and new. Sometimes some old things have to die. Sometimes old, old friendships and relationships and alignments have to actually go away because God wants to bring in the something fresh and something new. Sometimes God has to completely rebrand you. Otherwise, you'll try to operate in an old wineskin in a new wineskin era sometimes he has to completely detach you from that religion from that stuff that's been holding you back otherwise you're going to operate in an old thing when he has a greater glory to release through and upon your life and your ministry and your home and your family that's what the rebranding actually is okay I've, I've shared enough about that now. I just want to read Psalms 92.10. It says, Your anointing has made me strong and mighty. You've empowered my life for triumph by pouring fresh oil over me. There is a fresh oil he's releasing right now. Lord, I thank you for your fresh oil that's being released right now in Jesus' mighty name. I'm going to pray that over you guys in a minute. I feel like God wants to do something fresh over people. Who's feeling the fire? Who's fe- who's just people, just put up something right now, a thumbs up, whatever it is. If you're feeling the fire on you, there's a releasing a fire on you. There's a fire, you're feeling the heat, something, God doing something in you. Who I feel like there's some people right now, actually, there's even even like a repentance coming on people. Like, And I mean that from the perspective of God. I, I don't know what I've been living for, but this is what I need to live for. God, I've been feeling like I've been in the wilderness and, and I, I don't know why, but I've been seeing it the wrong way. God, you're doing something fresh and new in me. Yes, do it in me, God. Almost like this resolve to say yes to him afresh. If that's you right now, I just, I just, I just release that over you. That This is your moment where you're being saved separated from the past. There is a burial going on in your own life. That stuff is being left behind. You're stepping into something fresh and something new. Oh, Holy Spirit, I thank you. And God said to me that this oil is for creative glory and miracles. I believe we're about to see, we're about to see uh, such a move of God of the unusual miracles, the unusual things that he wants to release through your life. And it's, it's almost like God reinventing you creatively. The giftings upon your life are changing. What is God doing in you? Maybe there's the prophets out there, evangelists out there. There's teachers, pastors, apostles out there. God is, is releasing over you. This oil, it's for creative miracles and anointing that is going to do some unusual unusual things through you. Simply say, yes, God, whatever you want to do in me, have it done. I keep thinking about, I keep thinking about Elisha, right? When he commanded the, that lady who was, um, who needed all that, he went, you know, the lady in, uh, in 2 Kings 4 and they had to keep providing jars. And as she kept providing jars, the oil kept, uh, kept filling up. But when they ran out of jars, that oil stopped. And I feel like it's God saying, if you um, if you keep providing a need, you keep finding a, a, a situation for the oil to be released, that oil will keep flowing. That's God saying that by reason of use, you need to get out there and release what's upon your life. This is God commissioning you. This is not, okay, good. Cool. Okay, I've made it through. I've survived. I've, um, thank you, Jesus. I feel, I'm feeling a bit better. I feel like new life's returning to me, vision's returning to me. God's saying, no, you need to do something with it. This is coming back to what I said, slap the water with that mantle. Slap the water with that that. You need to release what is inside you. You need to release that oil. And it was amazing. Um, and our friend Anthony, he, we, we were really, um, ad- we were just really amazed by it. That when I, when we prayed for the last person that that day in Hobart, there was no more oil or anything on my hands anymore. It was all gone. And I was like, wow, it completely dried up by the last person. And it was just like God will release 
God will keep releasing until you don't need it anymore. And I feel like God just wants you to keep releasing what he's put inside of you. This is a season of harvest. It's a season of commissioning. It's a season where he's been redefining you and rebranding you. It's a season that he's pouring out something afresh upon families and homes. He was gonna call, he's going to call you to some ridiculous things. You're like, what does that even mean, God? Like, that's not what I would normally do. That's not something. God is going to give people ideas that are so outside of the box. You're going to have to just follow his voice because people are not going to understand. They're not going to agree with you, but you need to all the same be faithful to release what's inside of you and go forward with it. Do not be afraid. I just feel like people are on here right now that are going, God, well, you've given me some things. I feel like you're stirring up some things, but it looks different to anything else. I just want to encourage you, go forward with that. Go forward and release what's inside of you. Don't be afraid anymore. Just allow the blueprint that he's been placing in you as you've been going through the pressing, the crushing, and that pruning season to be the thing that you actually go out and you release. You don't hold back from anything. Good to see you. You, Anthony. Good to see you, Tammy. Father, I just release your oil. I thank you for the oil. I thank you for your fire that's being released, God. I thank you for your fire that's being released, God. I thank you, Father. Last night I shared a word at Awakening Australia. On the way there last night, God said to me, "You." Rest-, he said to me, uh, you, c- c- "What did he say to me? Call down fire and the drought. Call down fire and end the drought." And you know, thinking about Elijah and the altar that he restored, called down fire, and the drought in the land broke and rain came. And it's simply God restoring intimacy, restoring that place of our first love, restoring that place of God. Call down fire upon my life. Call down fire upon my life, Lord God. And I feel like it's in that that all those areas just begin to break off that have been holding you. So, Father, I release that fire. I release that fire, God. I pray, Lord God, that you'd ignite hearts afresh right now, Lord God, in Jesus' mighty name, that you'd release a fire. There are people in here right now that you have dropped your ministry in the dust. There are people, I just see somebody in Oregon. Who is in Oregon right now? There's somebody, it's almost like you've, it's it's not like you've, you've dropped it, but it's almost like I see that some, so many things are coming against you and people haven't understood who's the person from Oregon who's dropped their ministry calling it's almost like you've dropped it wherever it is right now tell me I want to pray over you Father in the name of Jesus I just release that that person in Oregon Lord I thank you Father it's a it, it is something fresh that you're doing upon them, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, that you're going to pick that thing up again. Lord God, I thank you, Father, for there's someone, there's someone right now that's being healed in their neck. I don't, I'm just feeling such a fire around my neck. Wow. Holy Spirit, right now in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, right now in the name of Jesus, that you release a fresh fire upon people's bodies, upon their necks. Father, that person be healed right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. It's, it's, a, it's a new day. We can't just do services the same. We can't just do the same old. It's a new day. God is saying it is, it is a day of equipping all the church. It's a day of all of. I, I just feel like it's a day where we need to we need to drop the religious stuff and just go after Him. It's a day of being real, and it's a day of just allowing people to to be who they are and to to fully just to, to fully be able to see God break out in a very organic, authentic way. I just feel like that He's saying, if you follow my voice, if you follow my voice, you'll see the fruit. If you follow my voice, you'll see the fruit. Stop trying to do this season the same way you did the last because you will not get the same fruit. You've got to cast your net on the other side. So Father, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus, for what you're pouring out over homes, over families, over marriages, Lord God. There's something fresh and something new that you're doing, God, and I say yes to it today, Lord God. If that's you right now and you've just been crying out for something, Something fresh and you've been through all this that I've been been sharing with you. Just put your just put your hands out for a moment. Just put your hands out. I want to, I want to pray just an impartation and release of the fire. I pray of an impartation of oil that there'd be an anointing. I feel like there's a commissioning today that God wants to commission you into a fresh assignment. I feel like many people are going to begin to have dreams about new assignments that God's going to visit you in the night. There are about three or four people in in in. Uh, I'm just seeing three or four that I feel like the Lord's almost saying that there's been such a block on your dreams. And you haven't been dreaming for a long time. There's something about that, that as that is unblocked, you'll begin to have the vision that you've been wanting for. And it's almost like I see where the, the enemy has really tried to stop that because that intercessory calling upon your life and the way that God's wired you, it's almost like it's been blocking you from being able to see forward. Be broken in the name of Jesus. Father, let dreams come. Let dreams come. Let dreams come. Let dreams come. Do you know what? Christy and I have had this strange phenomenon when we get it occasionally. We're about all in one week, we'll have like 15 people 
people say, hey, you're in my dream last night. And you're praying impartation over me. And you're saying, you know, like jump out into the waves. And I just feel like that was God confirming to me two things. He's confirming it's a season of commissioning. Jump out into the waves. But I also feel like it's also, in, it's also indicative of, of God saying, um, you know, that he's, he's, he's awakening the dreamers. He's awakening our dreams again. He's awakening our capacity to encounter him. Because dreams are an amazing way. In the last days, God says, you'll pour out his spirit upon all flesh and we'll dream dreams. Dreams are such a language of God. Father, restore the dreamers. Father, restore the dreams. Restore, Father, the connection point. That those who felt like they've lost their connection with you, the way they speak to you, let it be restored in Jesus' mighty name. The connection lines be restored in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you, Lord God, for somebody's feet for, an- feet for ankles, Lord, be restored right now in Jesus' name. Father, let's just put the oil to work right now over bodies. Let's put the oil to work right now over bodies. If there's any sickness in your body right now, just say, God, yeah, heal it. God, heal right now in the name of Jesus. Begin to prophesy and speak healing over your body. Whatever it is that's going on, even if you're feeling like maybe it's like you've been still feeling heavy, whatever it is, let's just see that yokes of bondage broken right now before I finish this broadcast. So, Father... Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. We just declare healing over everybody. We declare healing over minds. We declare healings, Father, over every organ. We declare, Father, Lord God, just for complete restoration right now. We release that oil. We release that anointing oil that destroys every yoke of bondage, God, in Jesus' mighty name. I just feel like, God, you're aligning homes. Father, it's almost like I see where the clutter, the enemy has tried to bring these, almost like these little, these little, um, almost like, the, I see it's almost like the foxes, that, but these little, Little areas that the enemy tries to come in to create divides and strife and division. I just see those being removed right now in homes. God's bringing alignment in homes. He's bringing refreshing. You're just going to feel that. You're going to feel that ease in this next season. That you're going to go, wow, like oh, that battle is that battle has has completely ended. And God, that you're just bringing me into this place of enjoying you again. Wow, like I felt like I just had to battle it out for such a period of time. And God's just like, no, you're not going to battle this season. I want you to enjoy me. But the spoils of war is the anointing you need to carry but it is a responsibility to step out into it because i don't commission i don't commission for no reason i commission for harvest and god he's saying he's activating you and there's assignment that he's dropping in your lap right now in jesus mighty name okay who felt the fire over them who got healed or something right now if you say that just put something up right now if you got healed or something i just feel, i feel like something to a sinus and headaches just got released or something i saw the pressure i saw the pressure just being released in sinus and headaches you felt like just who, who had that before the broadcast and you felt like the, suddenly that's, whoa, that's just cleared out. Like I feel the pressure's just lifted off like a sinus headache or something like that. I don't know what that is. I just feel like all that pressure's just lifted off somebody right now. I just declare freedom, 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 freedom over bodies in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, right now for healing and wholeness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for what you're doing, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to get some. We're going to get some awesome testimonies. Of what God did today. So thank you, Jesus. This is all for your glory, and we give you all the praise for it, Father. Right now, in Jesus' mighty name. I just want to finish off by encouraging you. I just want to finish off by encouraging you. Release the oil to somebody. Release the oil to somebody. It's it's. God wants that oil to increase. He wants that oil to increase. It's almost like, you know, <laughs> I want to share a funny story real quick. We had these really, um, we had these neighbors last year that were yelling and screaming at each other. It was a lot of fighting and, and different stuff. And uh, it was, I tried to talk to them, I tried to help them, and they would not have any bar of it. It was just like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? And uh, Christy had this idea that she was going to get this anointing oil, go out the front and, and smear it over their garage door anywhere she could and she did it so unashamedly she was like she's the, the intercessor in her she's just like a she's like a you know like a lioness you know when she's in that place she smeared it all over i'm kid you not everything stopped every bit of fighting stopped the oil that you carry needs to be released the holy ghost inside of you is aching to be released into the world so i just declare that over you today that you would feel like this, I need to release this. I can't just hold this in. Jesus wants out. 
of you. He wants to be released out of you. And I just encourage you. I just want to encourage you. Maybe you've been through a season. You've been feeling like, well, it's been all about me because I've been going through my stuff. And there's grace for that. But I'm telling you, this next season, you're going to feel such, you're going to feel such a passion. You're going to feel something come out of you. I need to release what is inside me. I haven't been through all the junk I've been through to do nothing with it. Do something with, with it in this season. So I just bless you guys. Thank you, Father, for the healings that have happened. If you get any more, just message them or put them on the thread here. It'll encourage a lot of other people as well. And share this as well before the broadcast ends to other people get on can we just do one last thing before we end and that is pray for Reading you know Reading is a place to Christy and I that is very special uh, it's just um, it's just one of those places that, that God has really put on our heart for years and uh, when we were living in America and so I just want to want to pray for Reading they had some crazy wildfires going on right now I think it was over over Mount Shasta this is pray this is join with me in prayer because when you pray things shift so Father we just pray over Reading right now the Shasta County all those regions Whiskey Town Lake all those praise Mount Lassen, all those areas. I don't even know them all, Father, but I think all the way down to Anderson. Father, I just pray right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we pray for those storms, for, the, for those fires to be put out in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, release your rain. Let it, let it pour down rain over there in Reading in Jesus' mighty name. God, we, we just bless you guys. Um, a few things we're going to be changing up over the next little while in the way we do things. We're going to be just really excited about what God's stirring in us. God's been rebranding us, and but we're really the most excited excited about our third season of our Grow Mentoring beginning in only three weeks now. It's called Harvest. It's all about God commissioning you, showing you what is inside of you. Maybe you've been feeling like just dormant. What is inside me, God? What are the gifts upon my life? Christy and I are really releasing everything that God's been doing inside of us in this season. We have amazing three other amazing mentors with us as well. And it's, it's just been an incredible time of going after God and seeing what He wants to do. We've had two seasons so far this year that have been incredible. The power of God has it's just been, it's just been, I've just been blown away. This one testimony we got yesterday just had us absolutely wrecked. I'm going to update that on our Facebook soon so you can see some of the things that God's been doing. But bless you guys, and I'll be on here again next week, and I can't wait to see you then. Bless you guys. Bye.